Go? Yes. Okay. So good morning, everybody. I'm Sue Wald, and for people in the area, I'm so pleased to be back at Chester. I can still call it Chester the Corner. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Lee, for hosting me this morning again. So today I'm here to talk about Bill 148, okay? So the Bill 148, the title of the bill is called the Fair Workplaces, Better Jobs Act. So all the news you heard recently is about the minimum wage, okay? But it's more than just minimum wage. So I'm gonna go through something very quick about the numbers, okay? So for minimum wage, starting January the 1st, right now, anybody who's working, the minimum wage must be $14 an hour. Next January the 1st, which is 2019, it'll be $15 an hour. Now, however, if you're under 18, so you know we have lots of high school students or even some of the young university students or college students, their minimum wage is not $14 an hour. Their minimum wage, if they work, uh, who work not more than 28 hours per week while they're in school, okay, is $13.15. That's still above what they used to make, which is $10.90, okay? And then next year, they will go up to $14.10. So there is still an increase, but not $14. So that's one that everybody understand, okay? And then um, for the restaurant, the liquor server, okay? Because they get tip, right? So their minimum wage has gone up from $10.10 to $12.20, okay, this year. And next year is $13.05. So there are different increases for different category. The piece I want to spend some time on is the various sweeping labor law changes. Number one, if you're doing equal work for equal pay, but you're working happen to be part-time or casual or seasonal, you must pay the same wages. So make sure you tell your clients if they're working same job, same job description, as a full-timer, they must get the same wage. Just because they're part-time is not acceptable, okay? That's really, really important. The other piece here is the whole issue of termination of assignment, okay? okay uh, termination assignment. So as an employer, they can say, we no longer need your service. They must give you one week's notice. If they don't, they still have to pay you that one week. Okay, so the termination assignment, meaning if you have worked there for three months, they have to terminate you for a variety of reasons, the business going under or they some restructuring, they must give you one week's notice. And that one week notice must be paid. Okay, one week notice, okay? The other piece, sweeping changes, is the scheduling piece, okay?